Hello members of Tambual Mass Community. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to apply cover of method in resolving compound fraction into partial fractions. So we have a problem here, 5x plus 8 divided by x squared plus 3x plus 2. I'm going to show you how to apply cover of method in resolving this compound fraction and when to use cover of method. All right, coming to this one. Um, make sure that this is factorable. So let's see whether it is factorable. Think of two numbers which when you multiply them together, you get the constant term. Once you add those two numbers together, you get the coefficient of x, which is 3. The numbers are 1 and 2. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. So we can resolve it into uh, 5x plus 8. Divide by the two factors, x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 2. Before I show you how to apply cover up method, let me tell you when to use cover up method. Use cover up method when you have product of two distinct linear factors. You can see these are factors, right? They are linear and distinct, meaning they are entirely different. Do not use cover up method when the two factors are the same, meaning we have repeated uh, factors, something like x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 1. You can see they are exactly the same. Do not use cover up method here. And also do not use cover up method when you have irreducible quadratic factor like x squared plus 1. You cannot factorize it, right? Unless if you're going to the complex world. So always apply cover up method once you have product of two distinct linear factors. So let me show you how to apply the cover up method. Um, remember to resolve any compound fraction into partial fractions, you have to always consider the degree of the denominators. Remember, all of these are linear. One degree less than linear will be a constant. So we're going to have a constant, a particular constant, divide by the first factor, which is x plus 1, then plus another constant, because all of them are linear, um, divide by x plus 2, something like this. But if the factor is quadratic, one degree less than quadratic will be linear, and the general form of a linear will be ax plus b. So it has to be ax plus b here, I did mean this is a quadratic. But linear, you know, it has a degree 1. 1 degree less will be 0, right? And anything to the power of 0 would be constant. All right. So now let us apply cover up method. I would like to find the value of A. Why do we call it cover? Um, you cover this, right? From here, you may cover this and consider this. You cover this and consider this. This is why we call it cover up method. Now, to find the value of A, e, look at that factor under A, e, x plus 1. What value of x do you think will make the whole of this to be 0? That is what you have to think about. Or otherwise, you take x plus 1, set it to be equal to 0, and solve for x. Definitely minus 1, because minus 1 plus 1 is 0. So use that minus 1 to find the value of A. E, but do not use this factor again. We only use this factor to determine that value of x. We are going to use this one. But well, let me come back here to the top. Use this and this. Do not use this one. So wherever you have x at the top, replace it with that negative 1. So you have 5 multiplied by that negative 1 plus 8, right? Divide by, use this one, do not use this, minus 1 plus 2. Simplify this and get the value of a. Let me do that directly here. 5 times minus 1 will give us what? Minus 5. Minus 5 plus 8 will give us 3. Take note of that 3, right? To the top. And this is minus 1 plus 2, which is 1. 3 divided by 1 will give us 3. So it means that A is equal to 3. Had it been we got a fraction, make sure that in the end, the denominator should be written beside this factor. But say it is only a, a constant one a number, which is 3, just to replace it with A. Then the B, you come here, 
what value of x will make the whole of this to be 0? Minus 2, definitely. Or you set this to be 0 and solve for x. So use that minus 2 for this and this, wherever you have x. 5 times minus 2 plus 8. Divide by, use this one. Remember it is minus 2, then plus 1. 5 times minus 2 will give us minus 10. And minus 10 plus 8 will give us minus 2. Remember the minus 2. Our numerator is minus 2. Minus 2 minus uh, plus 1 will give us minus 1. So minus 2 divided by minus 1 will give us positive 2. And we are done. Just come here, replace A and B with these numbers, 3 and 2. So it implies that these partial fractions, you can see them, are said to be what the partial fractions of this compound fraction, as simple as that. Yes.